actually manifest your dream life. It's an idea heavily promoted by self-help communities, an idea that some become completely identified with. The law of attraction is no longer a fringe concept. It very much has successfully infiltrated the mainstream. In this two Attention for all of you wondering. The simplest way to sum up the law of attraction. Get rich using the law of attraction. On the 17 second manifestation. You expand your awareness. Favorite law of attraction and manifesting no, hacks. So it's and just one payment of $3.99 or three installments of 149. How to manifest a text from a specific person. And how to manifest your significant other. But manifesting health for the people in our lives. You wanna manifest anything you want into your life. Be yeah. Ask for a video on how to manifest someone. Attract your twin flame. Money, money, scarcity, manifestation, love. Attract. To some, it'll be nothing but a passing fad. And to others, in a more vulnerable and desperate situation, It'll be their last perceived lifeline. A ticket to escaping debt. A ticket to repairing relationships. A ticket to curing themselves of a disease. And we'll see the same pattern repeat itself. And as a single parent, that's got to be devastating. Um, devastating is a bit of an understatement. What is the law of attraction or new thought when you realize that positive thinking, visualizations, meditation, affirmations are all tools that exist separately from this belief system? When we strip away all this spirituality to avoid harsher realities about the world at large, it is guilty of the just world fallacy, assuming that positive actions will lead to positive consequences, completely ignoring the fact that sometimes those who are optimistic and positive all their lives can be run down and taken advantage of, whilst other individuals who are morally bankrupt advance successfully in their careers with no repercussions. In this two-part series, I'll be investigating the law of attraction as both an idea and the profitable industry behind it, because what begins as an innocent idea that most can get behind quickly turns turns into a tool for gaslighting, cults, and material harm. In that they haven't been able to manifest health, wealth, abundance, or whatever dream we've sold them on. We can tell these people that it isn't the fault of our belief system that they didn't get what they wanted. It is in fact their fault. And as we peddle more of our workshops, write more of our books, we have an excuse each and every time someone attempts to challenge our ideas. It's my opinion that the addition of spirituality and channeling is actually an incredibly clever marketing device. Because now life advice turns into the teachings of Abraham. And if one wants to hear the teachings of Abraham, they must go to the source. They must go to the person who is claiming to channel this divine entity. This creates scarcity around Hicks's business of answering humanity's burning questions. And the scarcer the product, the more valuable it becomes. So when you're given an eye-watering price tag, no one bats an eyelid. It is my opinion that New Thought's use of spirituality and pseudoscience serves this exact purpose, allowing your teachings to seem more valuable in the marketplace. It is my opinion that the use of an Abraham entity is more of a marketing device than anything else. They're victims. So I thought, what if I just visualize checks coming in the mail? So I just visualize a bunch of checks coming in the mail. Within just one month, things started to change. And it's amazing. Today, I just get checks in the mail. I get a few bills, but I get more checks than bills. But now serious questions have been raised about his business dealings. In this exclusive investigation, Ben Fordham has found investors left high and dry and demanding justice. A former student of Shermer's who spent $30,000 to learn about the stock market. Part of the, the funds were supposed to be put into a trading fund and David would then trade those funds on the, on the futures stock market. What happened to that fund? Well, we don't know. It's, it's their money. It they paid you the tuition fees. It's not their and money. And you told them that you would take $5,000 out of each person's tuition and trade it on the market. And they would receive 50% of the profits. They never received any profits. Where's the money? That money, it, and, and come back to the original question. Where is the money? 
please answer the question. I, uh, the, the money, and, and as I, someone asked me recently the Where same question. Where is the money, David? Well, well, I've please the answer the question. Where is the money? Where is the money? You tell me. Most people look at their current state of affairs and they say, this is who I am. That's not who you are. That's who you were. And so you must continually invest in yourself. You've got to grow in every single way. Your money is nothing more than the amount of energy, paper energy, that you have in your pocket or purse. Hey, what's the problem? Two people, hard breathing, there's no pulse. Yes. Police are focusing their investigation on James Arthur Ray, the motivational speaker and self-help guru who ran the five-day retreat. Over 60 people were in the sweat lodge for two hours as the culmination of Ray's spiritual warrior retreat. It was pitch black inside and extremely hot. When it was over, two people were dead. Kirby's life ended while she was trying to improve it. That's when she found self-help guru James Arthur Ray. And I can help you. I really can. The motivational speaker had already built a multi-million dollar business, launched by the popular movie The Secret. She reached one of the highest level workshops, a retreat, which costs her her life savings, $10,000. Do find the defendant, James Arthur Ray, on the offense of negligent homicide as a result of the death of Kirby Brown as follows, guilty. On November 23rd, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I truly believed in my heart with my strong faith that I was already healed. I saw myself as if cancer was never in my body. From the time I was diagnosed, which was November 23rd, to the time I was healed totally was approximately three months. And that's without radiation and chemotherapy. Why would you let somebody else tell you how much money you're worth? That doesn't make sense to me. So Bob Proctor made several appearances at their events, as his books were dollars now. Product it is. Proctor went on to promoting a similar multi-level marketing scheme. My name is Alex Morton, and I'm the executive vice president of iMarkets Live. Whoever now, who else do you think promotes iMarkets Live? Attending and speaking at their conferences. Mr. Bob Proctor. I believe that's the goal of all thinking people that join the IM Academy. There's such a phenomenal opportunity here. But of course, this is no issue to Bob Proctor, as he can continue promoting Attention for all of you wondering. The simplest way to sum up the law of attraction. To get rich using the law of attraction. On the 17 second manifestation. You expand your awareness. Favorite law of attraction and manifesting hacks. So it's and just one payment of 399 or three installments of 149. How to manifest a text from a specific person. And how to manifest your significant other. But manifesting health for the people in our lives. You want to manifest anything you want into your life. Be that. Ask for a video on how to manifest someone. Attract your twin Flame. Money, money, scarcity, manifestation, love. To some, it'll be nothing but a passing fad. And to others, in a more vulnerable and desperate situation, it'll be their last perceived lifeline. A ticket to escaping debt, a ticket to repairing relationships, a ticket to curing themselves of a disease. And we'll see the same pattern repeat itself again. A sec. A, a sec. And as a single parent, that's gotta be devastating. Um, devastating is a bit of an understatement. What is the law of attraction or new thought when you realize that positive thinking, visualizations, meditation, affirmations are all tools that exist separately from this belief system? When we strip away all
plan is a real one uses spirituality to avoid harsher realities about the world at large. It is guilty of the just world fallacy, assuming that positive actions will lead to positive consequences, completely ignoring the fact that sometimes those who are optimistic and positive all their lives can be run down and taken advantage of, whilst other individuals who are morally bankrupt advance successfully in their careers with no repercussions. It's easy to fall into new thoughts, overly optimality, and a feel-good message as bait. Hey everyone, welcome to Universal Healing. I share because I care. I've been researching and looking around, meditating and a lot of stuff like this. But please, this video is not to criticize any channel, anyone or try to make fun of someone or try to make someone's beliefs or anything like that. This is just a video for awareness. Um, that is the main reason I stopped watching all the fake gurus, so-called gurus online, so-called spiritual teachers, spiritual leaders. All these fake gurus are rising up and you know robbing people from their money, from their time, from their families just in the name of spirituality, in the name of law of attraction, in the name of spend more, you will get more, in the name of a lot of wrongdoings. And that's the reason I stopped watching and I unsubscribe to all the channels. This video is just for an awareness. So my request to you is learn from it and live your best life. And don't believe anyone, just believe in yourself. You are your own guru. You are your own teacher. You are your own guider. Listen to yourself. Stop wasting time on these self-motivation for two minutes, for a few months. This self-development, self-motivation, self-spiritual gurus and all that kind of stuff. I don't watch none of them. All I do, but I also meditate, meditate, meditate. Because meditate scientifically is proven. It relaxes your mind with a lot of you know, healing at the same time. You know, I believe in crystals and minerals, which they've been using for centuries, not these fake gurus and so-called spiritual leaders and teachers they teach you. This is just an awareness. Um, you know, I'm sorry if I hurt someone's feeling or somebody doesn't like this. Uh, you know, this is the reality. Uh, but again, don't listen to me. Do your own research. Concern and my worry is only that I don't want beautiful beings like us to get used for their money, for their time, for their vulnerable, uh, you know, abilities and trusting people. Just watch your back. This is a million billion dollar industry. Um, you know, they have, you know, self motivation. Uh, you know, Abraham Hicks and Tony Robbins and Dean, whoever, and you know, Aaron Dowdy and all these channels. Uh, you know, they, all, all these people. You know, just. Do your own research, be your own God, be your own motivator, be your own self-developer. Do everything on your own. I know, I know it's hard. You guys must be lost if you really watch the whole video that if spirituality, being peaceful, calm, meditation, speak positive, law of attraction doesn't work, then what works? It works. There is a law of attraction there is positive thinking there is when you think positive you attract positive there is if uh, there is correct that if you think think good thoughts good thoughts come back to you negative people get negative things positive people get positive things this is true i'm not saying that the meditation doesn't work um you know your true manifestation doesn't work but what i'm talking about is all these so-called fake gurus with millions of followers and millions of subscribers and their people are following him vulnerably uh and some of them are becoming a cult, like for example, uh, uh, Infinite Water, Teal Swan. These all these channels are a cult. When you go leave any kind of wrong comments, everybody jumps on you. So this is an awareness. Learn it as an awareness. Do your thing. Don't follow anyone. Don't listen to anyone. Be your own judge. Do your own feeling. You know who's your teacher? Who's your guru? Your inside, the inner you, is your real teacher, your real guru. Listen to the voice inside of you. Be blessed by the beautiful divine. Hope this makes sense to you guys. Love you all very much. Um, please leave a comment. I would love to get your thoughts on this beautiful video. Um, many prayers and blessings. Love you all dearly.